what could go wrong taking Paul's out in a Mediterranean climate, right? feet of all stair steps smashing rocks. My bike hates me. You, you know you owe me $500 for these wheels, right? Ah! <sighs> hey, mountain bikers. In this video, we're gonna be investigating pedal kickback, and we're gonna see what this O-chain thing does. Yeah. Did you feel any kickback on the just normal setting? I mean, I definitely didn't hear my hub engaging, right? Like, I think that's why I'm so suspicious of this claim is I should be hearing my hub going clack, 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 clack. And like, I know what it sounds like when my hub engages because I do it every time I pedal. So I've never heard that sound. So I think this isn't going to make a difference. But What gave you this idea to take the paws out? Yeah, just because I've heard this hub engagement debate so many times and I just thought, well, if this is what's causing pedal kickback, there's a really easy way to figure that out. So, What if this next run blows your mind? If it's just the, <laughs> if this is just the sickest thing, yeah, maybe this will be my new setup for sure. Game changer? I might be wrong. Did you feel anything? Maybe. So I'm gonna give it another, another couple. And now I'll switch back to Paul's to do a back to back. Cause I was pretty confident it would be exactly the same. And now I'm wondering. Rest in peace, these wheels. Could you tell? Yeah, for sure. Really? It wasn't wasn't terrible it wasn't like impossible to ride it was just noisier like noisier at my feet in my ears and just like a little bit more bobble out the whole way so i had to like use force to push into it and quiet it or like yeah it was different huh next up ocean all right so no paul's felt successful would you say that yeah based on what you how you think all this works do you think the o-chain will feel successful i think it's pretty smart I don't want to race with no paws in my rear hub, right? Because I want to be able to pedal. So the swap is just like any chain ring. You just pull the ring off the back and boom. So the, the way it works is it's got this magical float. What that does is when your free hub is doing all its business and engaging and ratcheting in the back, which I think it does based on our test, this allows the free hub to do whatever it's going to do. And it keeps the rider steady while the chain's doing its little dance. And the trade-off is that you get this float when you want to pedal. Let's say I'm accelerating to go forward, there's this lag. And that can be a real downside for some people because obviously people spend hundreds of dollars to get really high engagement hubs so they can have instant engagement. And this is like the opposite of that. You think it's gonna work? I think it's gonna work. And like, this is the cool new one. So it's got four, six, nine, 12 degrees of float. So if you want less float when you're pedaling, you can do that. Um, less pedal kickback reduction, or you can have maximum pedal kickback reduction and lots of float. So I think it's on six degrees right now. So we'll set it to max. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And what's cool about that is that I can be skidding. So I think a lot of what I've heard from other pro riders is that braking is one of the biggest differences because when you brake, you don't have this instantaneous like skid jerk. Gotta know. 
I think it does something. So that was my first run. Kind of had a weird start, but going to give it another full pull and see. Kind of wild. Are you converted? <laughs> Not yet, but we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, so there's this weird thing. Like it feels really good once I'm fully up to speed. But I'm braking a little bit on the steep bit. And I was like dragging brake. And I almost think I need to like brake differently. Because the rear wheel doesn't have as much grip. Or it isn't like hitting as hard. Because it's not locking up or something. Hmm. Like the pedal kickback is generous. So I'm gonna try and change my braking form and braking points. And hopefully it'll be the best of all worlds. Yeah, I think, I don't know. It's like different here and then sick there. So, so the, the slow speed, you're noticing it more? Or yeah. is it is it because it's steeper too? Yeah. So then I end up like dragging brake and hitting every bump as opposed to selective braking. So yeah, I'll give it another try. That felt really good. Yeah, it's uh, it's super cool. I didn't ever think this stuff mattered. I think when I was coming up bikes, we're still figuring out a lot of other variables and they're really good now. And now this is really noticeable. It's cool. That'll be a learning curve. It's like, it's like when you're watching Netflix and it's buffering. So like the talking doesn't line up with the sound. So you go to pedal and it's like, oh, there it is. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. Well, now we're testing the Nico and Aaron Gwynn chainless setup here. So the question is back to back without chain, does it feel the same? Does it feel different? My theory is that even with the O chain on, you still, have to absorb chain growth somewhere. So your derailleur is moving and absorbing stuff. So the clutch and the spring are eating up some of your suspension movement. So in theory, it should move more freely without the chain um, than it did with even the O-chain dealing with pedal kickback. If you know you didn't need to pedal, would you run downhill chainless? All day. Like I think O-Chain is a really inventive, creative solution. It seems like it really works, does what's advertised. But nothing feels better than running no chain. It's so silent. It's like quiet in the bike, it's stable, it feels amazing. <laughs> Are you a believer? Oh, for sure. In the chain of O? Yeah, I think. If I were racing downhill in, or enduro at a high level, absolutely, like I have to ride it for a while to see how I feel about the ratchet feeling on like true trail riding, but for competition, yeah, it's like free speed. So we're back and we learned a lot of things from the test. So first off, we learned that my three-year-old bike sounds mostly like a shopping cart when I ride down the hill. We learned that my wheels survived, so yay us. Thank you uh, to the modern bicycle wheel. It's a miracle. And I think the biggest conclusion is that I was definitely wrong. And pedal kickback from an engaging free hub is definitely a thing. When we pulled the pauls out, it just felt immediately better. The bike was quieter. Um, it felt more stable. and. I felt like I had more grip. Color me wrong. Um, it turns out that pedal kickback through a free hub is a real thing. So then the next question is, does the O-Chain Spider address that? And the answer to that is definitely. So the O-Chain is definitely working, just like taking out the Pauls is. But I think there's more testing to be done. Yes, pedal kickback is a thing. Yes, the free hub has something to do with it. Yes, the O-Chain really works. But, uh, 
I'm excited to ride this for a while, get used to it, and then take the O-chain off and see what a difference it, it makes going back to a normal chain ring. Um, and I think there's a lot to study about what role the chain plays in suspension, because we saw that chain going up and down. And really, the only way that we could test that today was by pulling the chain completely off. And that felt really good. I think if the O-chain felt this much better, pulling the chain off felt even better than that. It was quiet, it was smooth. There's something happening with the rear derailleur and the chain through suspension movement um, that I don't know. And maybe that's the mass of the chain or who knows what. One thing we didn't test today, but that I tested accidentally yesterday is the clutch theory. Cause I did my first two runs yesterday without my clutch on cause I forgot and it felt terrible. That's actually the opposite of what I expected. So you would expect that with the clutch on, it would be interfering with suspension movement more. And with the clutch off, it would move more freely, but it just felt terrible. It sounded really loud. It felt rough. I felt a lot more through my feet with the clutch off than with the clutch on. So I think that's probably not what's causing pedal kickback. STFU bike is a really common product uh, that we're seeing more often, which is like a tube for the top of your chain, which keeps it from snapping up and down keeps it quieter, but then it also reduces that chain force. So that would be another interesting thing to study. But all in all, I think there's more room to study. And I think we can definitely say, yes, pedal kickback is a thing. Yes, this O-chain really works. And yes, my bike sounds terrible. So let us know in the comments what you think is causing this. Uh, if you think that I was dumb all along for not knowing that the free hub is the cause of it. And if you have any other theories about how these things work, what role the chain plays, or if there's any other resources you can share. Can't wait. This is reused from a complete bike build at a local bike shop. Reduce, reuse, recycle.